The men's shot put has the makings of an epic final. Krauser is the Olympic champion. He's the best thrower in the world this year. This is the title missing from his glittering collection. World indoor bronze medalist last year, Thomas Stanick. Another one of the 22 meter boys. National record holder from Croatia, Filip Mikhailovic, ninth on the world leaderboard this year. From Brazil, the South what a story this would be for the Pan American champion. Darlan Romani could become the first Brazilian male to win any global shot put medal, and I include the Olympics as well as the world championship in that story. From Serbia, Serbian two time national champion, Sinicevic. 21.51 PB shape this year. He'll need bigger than that, surely. From the United States, a world Another one of the talented Americans. Six in the world indoors, 11th two years ago. Daryl Hill. He's gone out to 22.35 this year. That was recently in what they call the match in Minsk. He brings four. Former world champion from four years ago, Joe Kovacs. Second in the US champs. He won the Paris Diamond League. 22-31 this year. From New Zealand, he was second at their national so good to see this talented youngster from New Zealand back in the groove. Jack O'Gill, a former world junior gold medalist, battling back from a heart condition with three PBs in the last five weeks. To another Commonwealth nation. Two bronze in Glasgow and on the Gold Coast, Tim Nadal, fourth in the Pan American Games. From Poland, Euro silver last year, twice. European indoor, a European under 23 champion, Konrad Bukowiecki. African representation in this final now. From Nigeria, the African champion, dual citizen with the United States, Chukwebuka Enewechi. And the defending champion. Can you hear the ground rumbling? World indoor champion, Olympic bronze medalist, Tom Walsh of New Zealand. Walsh is eighth on the all-time list. Krauser is sixth. Romani has gone tenth. Tom Walsh has got a habit of always getting it right exactly when it counts. Two New Zealanders in this final. Great to see Gill back to form. The Americans with Hill and Kovacs and Ryan Krauser will fancy they can spoil the Kiwi party tonight. Eight men over 22 metres in 2019, and seven of them are in this competition. It could be, it should be, one of the all-time great shot put showdowns. We will be rocking and rolling between the shot put attempts and the heats of the 4x4 as Ryan Krauser steps into the circle. Comes from what you could almost describe as a dynasty of throwers. His dad, his uncle, his cousins, all excellent throwers in their own right. Krauser opening this glittering final then. Oh, that's big. We already know it is going to take something special in this final. And as if to underline that, Krauser has launched a big one with the very first throw. He's laid down the marker and said, OK, boys, I'm the man. 22.36, already that will take some beating. It will, we heard him say, Big one, first one. He's the Olympic champion and is a world leader already, but Ryan Krauser has never been on a world championship podium before. He was sixth in London. That looks like it already may be good enough. Well, it would certainly take some beating, that's for sure. Stanek. 21.67 this season. Fourth in the Europeans last year. World Indoor Bronze medalist. He was just off the podium in London. 
That's a daunting prospect to follow such a big opener from the Olympic champion. Man from the Czech Republic has his opening salvo in this Saturday night shot put showdown. Well, top marks for the Raw. He's around about, what, the 21-metre line here. And Jenny Meadows alongside me. It's not beyond the bounds of possibility here that there's so much talent in this field. Randy Barnes, low 23s, or am I just being greedy after Dalila Mohammed's world record in the four hurdles the other night? Yeah, we've been spoiled so far in this championships, haven't we? And that's the 2061 there coming up for Stanek. Now, Darlan Romani. No Brazilian male has ever won a global shot put medal. Well, that's a nice way to start. He's the Pan American champion. He's been there or thereabouts so often. Fifth in Rio in the Olympics, fourth in the world indoors last year. I think his breakthrough performance, uh, Jenny, came when he produced three throws over 22 metres to win the Prefontaine Classic and smash the South American area record. That looked big from Romani. What a start. Yeah, you want to start out well, don't you? Especially after what Ryan Krauser did. That was a 21.61. That's a whole metre down on what he did actually produce at Prefontaine. Jack O'Gill. Really quick in the circle. That looks good. Now, Jack O'Gill's PB is 21.47. That looks very close to a lifetime best to me. Yeah, he's one of these athletes we've been watching for a number of years. Really hard to imagine that he's still only 24 years of age. Now, we've talked a lot of statistics over the last few days, but he actually won the World Junior Championship age 15. It's incredible that Jakob Ingebrigtsen won it when he was 17, but 15 years of age. What a great competitor. Just shy of his PB. Now, the Commonwealth silver medalist from Nigeria. Another throw, landing in the mid-21s. Enequechi, the African champion, dual citizen. The American, his uh, dad is from Nigeria, hence the representation for the proud African nation. Big guns, big smile, and he likes that. He moves fourth. 21-18. A good opener. Tom Walsh. He is a metaphorical man mountain. The world indoor champion, the defending world champion, the eighth best thrower in history. What can he do now against the opening mark set by the Olympic champion Krauser? Krauser leads with 22.36. Big roar. Oh, my goodness me, that's huge. That is absolutely massive from Tom Walsh. He's got a wild look in his eyes, and he let out an almighty roar as he released the put. That is huge. We're watching, we're waiting. 22.90. Tom Walsh has gone fourth on the all-time list. That is huge. Dan O'Brien down on the infield. What a put by Walsh. One of the best we've ever seen. Hey, guys, this is really exciting down here. Ryan Krauser got everything going with a really big throw. The crowd was up and into it immediately, but there have been a number of really solid throws. It was it was low 22 meters. It was a championship record. And I thought, you know what? Maybe Ryan Krauser is gonna put this thing away on his first attempt, but Tom Walsh is an absolute fighter. He stepped in, didn't blink an eye, didn't bat an eyebrow, and he pops 2290, breaking the championship record and moving up the, moving up the tables to number four all time, 2290 to 2236. This is going to be a great shot book competition.
Dan, we're watching three of the world's best athletes ever here in this shot comp competition. You're Ryan Krauser. How do you respond after seeing Walsh just go out to that one? You know, how, how do you how do you respond to some of these throws? It just it's just mental, mental fortitude. These guys are they, they wait for moments like this. They've practiced for moments like this high school, college. And as elite athletes, they wait for moments like this on the Diamond League. This is when it counts the most and they're rising to the occasion. Well, rising to the occasion they are. We knew that we'd had some big throws already this year and this one promises to be a cracker. I still can't believe that. Fourth on the all-time list, and we still haven't finished the second round. Wowee. Now, Romani, a small figure. He's almost as wide as he is tall. He's in the bronze medal position now, after that monstrous end to the opening round from Tom Walsh. His face is a picture of concentration. 22.61 at the end of June. He has a huge talent. Yes, over 22 metres. Now, all of a sudden, there are three men in this final over this magical mark. Never before in history of the World Championships have two athletes thrown beyond 22 metres in the final. Now we have three, we're still in round two. Twenty-two fifty-three. That is very close to his lifetime best, and suddenly it's the Olympic champion Krauser down in third. It can't go bigger than that, can he? Tom Walsh has mentioned the world record. It's 23-12. It's another massive put. It's not as big as his first round. It's a no-throw. 22-90. The championship record, the fourth, be fourth best throw we've ever seen. Absolutely incredible. Romani in second, Krauser, the Olympic champions, in third. Now, this is Krauser, no throw in the second round needs to find a personal best performance here to get in the shake-up. No. I mean, I say no, it's over 22 metres. In, in the most normal competitions in any other era, it would be a fantastic throw. But in the context of what we're seeing here, that's not 22.90. These are the, the distances to which these men are pushing each other. Well, what about that for a coincidence? Exactly the same distance as his opening throw stays in third. Romani. Brilliant throw in the second round. Get himself back up from third into second. Just a reminder, no Brazilian man has ever won a global shot put medal. There's history on the line here. Pretty much bang on the 22-metre board, so there'll be no improvement from Romani. But once again, underlining the levels to which this competition and this event have risen over the last eight to ten months. Yeah, I think we might see something special here. We've already seen three 22-metre throws, but if they can start putting really good sequences together, it could be one of the best competitions in history. We talked about Romani at the Prefontaine Classic meeting. Ryan Krauser, fourth round here. Oh, that is big. Remember, it's Tom Walsh leading with that 22 metre 90 throw in the first round. Krauser was initially out front with 22.36, which he replicated in round three. 
He was in the silver medal position until Romani dropped him down to third with 22.53. 22.71, he swaps places with the Brazilian once more. So it's New Zealand from the United States from Brazil. He knows surely he's going to be on the podium. How big could this be? Oh, it's such a high standard, this final. No throw there. Dan O'Brien, this shot put competition has come alive brilliantly. Can anybody challenge Walsh and that massive 22-90? Well, what happens when you put a big throw like out, out there like Thomas Walsh has done it causes everybody else to swing for the fences we've seen a number of fouls and a number of really good throws Walsh is just really bearing down he's talking to his coach up in the stands every time he's up he's just every the crowd comes alive but what's interesting is I think it has changed the complexion of this competition it's just brought everybody up a level and it has the officials down here wondering if there's something wrong with the equipment because five people have gone over the distance of the old world championship record. This competition is just absolutely amazing and we're winding down here. Guys are running out of chances and it looks like Thomas Walsh could be could be the champion again. And Dan, we knew this was going to be a great competition. Did you really think we'd see a throw that was closer to 23 than 22? Well, certainly there was a possibility, especially when you look at the look at the throws in the top 10 list, and so many guys are pushing that 22 meters now. But yeah, absolutely. Ryan Krauser popped that big one, and I thought now they're all chasing him. But Thomas Walsh put all doubt, all doubts to bed when he popped his big one. He wants everybody to know who the world champion is. Great insight there from Dan O'Brien. He'll be down there until the end, and as he indicated, we're edging closer. Four throws left. This is Joe Kovacs. Kovacs' best effort in the fourth round, that 21.95. If he throws a season's best or personal best, he's in the conversation for a medal. Oh, that's big. Yes! Kovacs has announced his presence here. We're watching and waiting for the measurement. Romani is in third at the moment with 22.53. Krauser, 22.71. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. 22.91. He takes the lead by a single centimetre. Unbelievable. Dan O'Brien, what do you make of that? Guys, Joe Kovacs came over to his wife after his third throw before they went into the final three, and she said, Joe, you've got to go for it. I don't care if you have three big fouls here. Just let it all hang out. And he slowly increased. He got a little more. He got a little farther, a little farther on the fourth and the fifth throw, and he just unleashed one right there. He was so balanced at the end. 22-91, he takes the lead by one centimeter. The Americans over there at the start of the 100 meters were absolutely going bananas. That's a giant throw for Joe Kovacs. Romani has to improve here. One last chance to get a medal. It's absolute heartache for the Brazilian. 22-53, and he ends up in fourth place. That is staggering. Joe Kovacs, by the way, has now moved joint third on the world's all-time list. Romani has done himself huge credit here. That is an enormous throw to finish fourth. Bad luck for the Brazilian. Kovacs, third on the all-time list, which means Walsh, just a centimetre further back, is now fifth on the all-time list. Krauser the Olympic champion. He has the bronze medal, he knows that. Surely he can't produce one of the best in history, can he? Oh, 
my goodness me! This is incredible! Unprecedented strength and depth here in the shot put. The Olympic champion has saved his best to last. But how big? How big? All right, Ryan Krauser, he hit a big one in the fourth round and he kept turning to his coach and said, I just missed it, I just missed it. His dad is his coach here today. And I thought, wow, that is a giant throw. How could he have just missed it? It just came off his hand just a little bit differently. But Krauser, 22-90, he's tied with Walsh. And it'll be a count back to see who gets that silver medal if Walsh cannot improve right here. But Walsh has just put, been pushing the boundaries all day long. I've never seen anything like this. Joe Kovacs giving, giving Krauser a hug. Krauser could barely even watch, guys. He is on pins and needles. Tom Walsh has thrown the joint fifth furthest shot put in history. And at the moment, it's only good enough for the bronze. Incredible here. Oh, my goodness me. It's a massive effort from the New Zealander. But it doesn't register once more. Three men separated by a single centimetre and all of them go down in history. Joe Kovacs, the former world champion, retains his crown with an enormous throw. 22 metres, 91. He goes joint third on the all-time list. And what about this? Ryan Krauser, the Olympic champion, tied for fifth equal on the all-time list for the silver and on count back relegates the former champion Tom Walsh to the bronze all three of them with lifetime bests all three of them with memories that will last forever extraordinary just extraordinary here in the Khalifa International Stadium and just when you thought this world championships couldn't deliver and couldn't get better it just keeps on surprising us in the most amazing way possible. Well, we just saw the best women's 1500 metres in history, the depth of that event, and then the men's shot butters have responded. I love that. I love Dan's insights. Always listen to your wife. It came well there for Joe Kovacs. Kovacs, a championship record, the joint third best row we've ever seen. Krauser and Walsh, PB, area record. The joint fifth best throws we've ever seen. Unbelievable here in Doha, simply unbelievable.